Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review and an unboxing on the Shark Vertex Pro Lightweight Cordless Vacuum. This is model number IZ682H. So it comes with this external charger. It's got this, you're gonna plug this into the wall. This plugs into this charger right here. Now I can plug this charger into the battery or this wall charger. There's kind of two spots there, but I'm gonna plug it into this charger and so I have an extra battery that's ready to go and fully charged. Now here's the actual uh, vacuum cleaner. I've got it in its stored position. It does come with three accessory tools that are right here, a crevice tool that's really nice. I like the brush tool, but let's go over the vacuum cleaner. So when you store it like this, you're gonna have to press this button. Now I've got it fully extended and now I'm gonna be able to use it. Press this button right here. This is how you're gonna fold it. Okay, so let me show you how to put it together. You're gonna press this button, this comes apart. I can take this off also. There's another button, press this. I can take this off. This is how it comes out of the box. Um, here's the battery. Again, I've got two of these batteries. I've got to pinch the tabs and it's gonna slide back. So if this battery um, goes dead, I can put this other battery on. And again, there's where I can plug that charger right into here if I wanted to. These just slide on. Now, when this fills up with dirt, you're gonna go over to the trash can. You're simply gonna press this button. Everything's gonna come out. Once in a while, you do have to take this off. You're gonna press this button right here. There is a filter here. You're gonna rinse these out once in a while, make sure they're nice and dry before you put them back on. But there is one more filter. It's a HEPA filter and it's right here. You're just simply gonna pull it. There it exposes the nice big HEPA filter. Put it back on. Now you don't have to take this apart and clean this very often, but once in a while you will kind of line that up, snap it into place, you're ready to go. So again, let's put this all together. Again, I could put this crevice tool on the end of this wand. I can put it on the end of the vacuum cleaner. I can even put this, if you want to clean stairs, I can connect this. I can power the brush head and everything just like this. It does a really good job of cleaning stairs. But again, put this on put this on. Now when I want to store it, because it is top heavy, it doesn't stand up on its own. Press this other button behind here and then that's where, this is how you store it like this. And then when you're ready to go, just press that button. But I can also use that to my advantage. So say I want to get underneath a um, couch or something or a table, I can press that button and now it's flexible. I can vacuum like this. Very nice. It's got rollers. Let's go over the cleaning head. I love when they have dual fins. This first fin is gonna kinda of help bring stuff into to where it's suction. It does have a thing that will take the hair off the roller, but you can take this roller out. There's a release button here. Take this out, get this all nice and clean. There's these little teeth that are gonna keep the hair off of this roller also. Put it back in. It's got LED lights. We're gonna see how well it cleans on hardwood floors and on carpets. Okay, so let's go over the control panel for this one. You're gonna turn it on, hold it for a little bit. That's the battery percentage. I've got three modes. I got three modes of operation by checking out these three little dots. I've got eco, kind of everyday mode, and then max mode. And I can switch between carpets and hardwood floors. This switch, it, how fast that turns down there. When you're on hardwood floors, the rollers don't turn as fast. So let's turn it on. Battery percentage, hardwood floor, carpet. Three modes of operation. There's eco, middle, boost.
Okay, so let's see how it did cleaning. I thought this one did a really good job on hardwood floors. On carpet, it was a little heavy, not too bad. It definitely cleans um, carpet really well. It just seems like it was a little harder to move. But here, I picked up a lot of stuff. Again, you're just gonna go over to the trash can, press this button, everything's gonna come out, put it back in, and you're ready to go. When I was on carpet, I did use the maximum suction. And when I was on hardwood floors, I used maximum su suction, and I put it on the hardwood floor setting so that this turned slower. So I really do like these shark vacuum cleaners. I like that you don't have to press a trigger. You can simply just turn it on, do your vacuuming and turn it off. I like the three modes of operation. I also like that it has a big LED display for the battery percentage. And I've got two speeds for the brush roller for hardwood floor and carpet. This is a really nice vacuum cleaner. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching. So thanks everybody for watching my video today. Underneath the video, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that really helps out my YouTube channel. Again, you can purchase all this coffee right below the video. You'll see links to them or go to justadadcoffee.com. I really do appreciate everybody's support. Recently, YouTube just sent me my 100,000 subscriber plaque. That would not be possible without everybody's support. So again, I really appreciate it. I'm excited for this new adventure, branding my own coffee. Um, it, it tastes really good, and I hope you're going to definitely like it again. Hoping somebody asks you what your favorite cup of coffee is. It's just a dad simple sip coffee. And again, thanks so much for watching the YouTube channel. Also, be sure and check out my Just a Dad videos group page on Facebook. This is where I do my free giveaways. So when I'm done with my products, I do a free giveaway on there. And you can kind of see behind the scenes of how I make my videos. Also, check out my podcast, Coffee with Dad Podcast. This is where I interview different people. I love to hear everybody's story, and I just think everybody has a story they want to tell. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and thanks so much. Miss Fiona always knows when I'm doing a recording.